A St. Joseph Church is hosting a gospel concert this weekend featuring several local artists, and there's a reason for this event, and Logan Pettis is here tonight to tell us a little bit more about it. Well, the reason why um, we're kind of doing this is because this is a church that's been around since December of 1889, mm -hmm. and it has gotten to a point where there's just a complete lack of funds, and it's very possible that this church may close. And what is scary about that, other than the fact, you know, it is a church closing, and, you know, there are a lot of people out there that seek these places, you know, to find comfort, and, you know, whatever. It's a tough time. The government shut down and whatnot. Um, but on top of that, it's another historic building in St. Joe. It was built in 1925. Um, the architects were the uh, Bowler Brothers, which were the same guys behind the Missouri Theater. Um, so it has a lot of history in yes. St. Joe, then. And, and tell everyone the church that we're talking about. It is uh, Marvin McMurray United Methodist Church. It's there on the avenue directly across from the Dollar General. It used to be Thomas's Market. So um, a lot of people are probably familiar with it, or mm -hmm. maybe if they haven't been to that church, they've yes. at least driven by it. It's, the, it's big, beautiful windows, red brick, and, and it just, in recent decades, has kind of faded back into the background mm -hmm. of the avenue for whatever reason. And so this is a chance to maybe not only see the church up close mm -hmm. and personal and kind of get an idea of, of why it's important for everyone to uh, try to save this church, but also to hear some gospel music as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. We've got uh, several great artists, myself included. Um, two or three, there's a quartet out of uh, Kansas City called Shoal Creek Revival that's coming in. Um, for people familiar with uh, Tom Heath, he's bringing his group Soul Harvest. They're from in the area. Um, Vicki Edwards, Mandy Dunlap, who's a good friend of mine who I met in Tennessee, actually, and she's from Butler, Missouri. So she's coming in and she's going to help us out, plus Daniel Moss, who's the treasurer of the church. And So a lot of different performers, a lot oh, of different yes. voices for this yes. event. Let everyone know uh, when it is and how they can get tickets to see it. Um, the event it is this Saturday um, at 7 o'clock. That's October the 5th. Um, it is free to the public. What we're asking for really is just a free will donation. Um, something, you know, to just kind of help out and keep this thing going. We've also got a, uh, I don't know if I should call it a raffle or an auction or whatever, of a lot of great items that I have here with me. Um, just autograph stuff. A lot of my friends in uh, gospel music have really stepped forward and, you know, said, hey, we want to help you out. You know, they're on the road, they're big time artists, and we fortunately can't pay them. That's the other cool part is everybody has done this out of, you know. Donating their yeah, time. Yeah. Their time and energy, and so. So you've got some CDs up here and autograph photos, things autograph like that. Autograph things, photos, stuff that people recognize. Uh, the book, Mary, Did You Know, that's up here, written by Mark Lowry. And uh, it's the Christmas song. And really cool book, actually. Well, and they can so. check that out if they want to see the event mm -hmm. on Saturday. Let's put that information up there one more time. Saturday, of course, October 5th, 7 o'clock at the, you said 7 o'clock, not 7.30. 7 yes. Okay, 7 o'clock at uh, the uh, Marvin McMurray Church there on St. Joe Avenue. Yes. All right, Logan, thanks for coming in tonight. Or in the kitchen later with a healthy recipe for your next tailgating event. Sherry Caldwell shows us how to make homemade guacamole. Go ahead.